Today is our date night that didn't work out. I'm fixing a furnace and I'm teaching my wife how to change a flat tire. Hey guys, this is Vladimir Nemchinov, living live intentionally. Today is Wednesday. A normal date night is on Monday, but my baby's schedule is changed. She is off on Wednesday now. So we decided to have a date night today. But my tenant texted me and said that furnace is is not working anymore we have to move the date night to friday i'm on my way there right now to see what i can do with it and how can i fix it well that wasn't a long drive our rental house is about seven seven minutes away from us so it's a it's a huge blessing my work is about the same distance away from us and uh, so basically i don't drive much I save on gas, I save on oil. When I first bought this van, I changed oil about 10 months later. So I drove a whole year on, on the same oil. Barely made 3,000. But the, the very next summer, I put about 3,000 miles in the summer. We went to Niagara Falls. I bought this van because of the seats, right? Give rides to people and serve people, take kids to have fun. Like Winter Jam. Check out my video. There is a little house. I love this thing a lot. Water tank I installed a few months back. <laughs> the only only thing that sucks about it is is that much room I have to work with. Uh, no other way I can get in there. All right, so this furnace had problems with the uh, thermocoupler and uh, I changed one already and then I put in another one. It's such a tight place, it's so hard to work in there. Basically, I had to work around things to put it in and I think that's what the problem is. So now I'm trying to uh, light it up and see if it's gonna stay lit or not. And hopefully, that's, that's, that's the problem. It's not the most convenient problem, but that's the one that I can handle. All right, so let go and it's, it's on might not be even a problem with it maybe it just went off I'm gonna go turn on the thermostat well it seems to be work I didn't have to fix anything I think that's where it was it just went out for some reason I guess we'll give it some time if it calls again all right that's it we're going to wrap it up all right it's all covered and good to go One of these days I make a video about this house and tell you what's up. Hello. Hi pretty girl. Hi, it's George. I'm done. Hello. Do you like to go back to our date plan or would you like to still reschedule for Friday? It's scheduled for Friday. Okay, you wanna come down and help me to change the tire? Yeah. Yeah, it's cold. You don't need to. I would like you to know how to do it. Next time uh, you get a flat tire, we'll, we'll do it then. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Okay, I'm on my way home. Love you, baby. Bye. She didn't want to have a date night today because I already wasted time. So I'm gonna stay outside, be productive. There's still light outside. So I'm gonna put her wheel cap or whatever it's called back on. Organize her trunk. Here it is, the new tire. I didn't have that silver thingy on because it's in garage. I didn't realize that she's gonna go. She went yesterday while I was at work. Tire finally came. Okay, pretend this is a flat tire. Babe, this is what you do. I know it's cold outside, so I'm gonna show you how to do it via my vlog. Tire is flat. You go to your trunk, take all those parts out. This is what you would need. You would need this tool to use your jack. Take this thing off. Jack actually would be here. You'll be sitting under this thing. This is your spare. You unscrew this, you take it out. In case it's gonna be cold or you don't want to get dirty i'll leave my gloves in there okay baby okay before you jack it up you need to loosen these nuts otherwise it might be hard when the car is in the air and the wheel is going to be spinning so you want to do it while the car is sitting on the wheel so for that you use this tool now 
now they are loosened you want to put the jack under the car see it's cut out here it goes right above this lip see this lip like this it goes under like that and then you put this tool same tool you go here and then you turn it and then you go like this and then you turn it and then like this and keep repeating keep repeating until you lift the car up and there is a clearance between the wheel and the road if I would try to unscrew it right now it would be spinning so of course we don't want that so then you take out those nuts I usually leave one on top to hold it put them somewhere to the side so they don't get lost and then the top one let's pretend I took it off and I put it put the spare on the only direction with putting this on is that air nipple thingy is isn't that cut out I can't put it anywhere else so once you put the spare back on put the nuts on and the wheel is not gonna stay straight like that push on it or do whatever to put the nuts on so once you put them on when you tighten it always go crisscross it doesn't matter the order but as long as they go like this across across of course right now I can't tighten it up because it's gonna be spinning so you put them as far as you can Spin. Once it's on, you lower it. Last thing you do is tighten them up. Again, crisscross. I go this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. That's it, baby. Now you know how to change the tire. I hope it's helpful. And then you throw, throw your flat tire inside the trunk and come home I'll take care of the rest so in order to put the jack in or out you have to spin this thing and then it goes under and then you spin it the other way so it stretches and then it's stuck there it's not gonna move anywhere it's going to stay here that's it it's not going anywhere until you start unscrewing it and take it out Gloves going in here, babe, for you. This thing a little tricky. Bend the flaps like that. This way it goes in. And this thing goes on top. Ta-da! Hi, baby. And now you know how to change the tire. And if you guys enjoy the video, please like, subscribe, share. Thumbs up.